Misfits 03 is up and rolling here in Texas. Press conference finished. Guys, KSI, start with yourself. Madness on the stage. Yeah. Face off commands. Incredible event um, that we're about to see. Jesus, there's a lot of rivalries, man. There's a lot of rivalries, a lot of bad blood. The main event, man, Wally versus Dean. Jesus, bro, it's crazy, like. Dean's, you know, whipping out the sister line and just saying... <laughs> has he, has he yeah, overstepped, he's overstepped the line. I mean, yeah, of course. So whenever you bring family, you overstep the line. But, I mean, in terms of boxing, this, this, is, this is part of, part of, part of everything. This is just how it is. You just got to deal with it and then show everyone in the ring what you're really about. You know, you can say everything you want to say outside the ring, but when it, you know, it really matters inside the ring. Mams, when you started putting these fights together and you see these two guys, did you know straight away that's a style that's going to clash in and out the ring? Well, I knew that they'd been um, talking back and forth to each other mm. uh, previously, and it was a fight a lot of people were calling to see. And so, the one we were like, oh, we should make it mid, man. Yeah, 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 because there's going to be fireworks. Both of them have electric hands. They're very, very good standard, and they genuinely dislike each other. They disliked each other before, but now they dislike each other ten times more. Who got the upper hand in the press conference? Given that while they threw one hand, I, I, I think Dean. I, sorry, go ahead. But I, I think it's just fifty-fifty. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, yeah, that's I don't really yeah. think like like even even when it comes to like boxing, I think it's fifty-fifty. I don't know who could win this. It's. Oh, yeah. The press conference, though, didn't you think when you lose control in general, you've lost, right? Or well, I mean, I've lost control several times. In, yeah, but so did in, your opponent. I feel like Dean kept his composure and Waleed lost it. Well, I mean, when I fought Joe Weller, I lost my control in the press conference. And then when it's it came to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think when it comes to the press conference, it, like, no, you, you can't really look too much into that. It's all about what happens in the ring. Like, you could be as calm as you like, cool as you like, but as soon as you get in that ring, you might panic because you realize you haven't done as much training as you thought you did, or, you know, the person is just so much better. So, it's one of the ones where, well, you yeah, know, like, we just gotta wait till Saturday to see who's gonna win that, but Jesus Christ, it's, it's, it's a nuts. very high level as well. Oh, extremely he's high got level. got a Golden Gloves winner in there. He's got I personally there. felt Wally beat Adam Sala as well. He did, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, we all know, you know, Adam Sala lost that fight. So, you know, Wally is not, is no joke, but Dean is no joke as well. So that's why, I'm, bro, I'm so excited to see. And that's why it's going to be fast and furious. It's it will. Be very yeah, bro, furious. it's going to be. Gonna, and bro, gonna, I, you were saying like, there's going to be knockouts. There's going to be so knockouts. many knockouts <laughs> in this event, bro. It's Probably good. the most I, yeah. out of all the events that we've done. We're going to have it. It's going to be a tough job. We've got some heavy boys here. Yeah, yeah, bro. 10 ounce gloves, 200 and something. Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy. Has but seen it's the well. it's also, you know, and there's been some other events I've seen recently, you know, these two minute rounds, they just don't work for me. Yeah. You know, it's like you don't, you need that strategy of a round, and that takes three minutes. Mm -hmm. And it, and you you don't give the athletes the chance to really be warriors mm -hmm. in that in that round if you've got two minute rounds. So I'm, I'm I think that Dean for me, just the way I think he carried himself in London as well, and it's great to see him back on mm -hmm. on, 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 on Misfits. Uh, I just I, I give him the edge, but but then you know I mean Wally with his with his gold, I mean Golden Gloves winners they don't they don't come around the corner every day. Yeah. Fantastic, so it's, it's going to be very interesting. And they're going to Wally and Dean haven't fought anyone like each other before. They this is the thing, when you're sparring, and you might spar tougher guys and all that kind of thing, but when it's in the ring in front of a crowd with intention, mm. with that that extra zing on, at the end of your fist because there's a rivalry and they dislike each other and it's personal yeah. now. I don't think either of them have been in that particular situation. Yeah. No, but and, and, and one, one thing I would say where I would disagree with you, but I would add to, to the point is, yes, for me, there wasn't a winner today. You know, it was, a, it was yeah. there was some things that were said also that, that don't belong in any sport and it was, you know, it was, a, it was an overstep of the mark. But what I would say is, Fighters go off and carry their nervous energy. 
And that nervous energy leading up to the fight, if you can't burn that off, if, you can, if they can't go back to the hotel yeah, now true. and relax yeah, yeah, yeah. and can't sleep tonight, yeah, that yeah. is a big advantage for the other guy. So it's going to be interesting to see because for me looking at Wallet, he's, he's clearly he's got a big, big amateur school in boxing. Mm. But how does he carry himself now from now until fight night, way in tomorrow? Mm. How does he, does he, does he sit now cooping up in that hotel room? Yeah, and, and, and <laughs> or is he, or is he the type of guy who goes, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to chill. Yeah, yeah. Chill. That's yeah. the part where, where mind games play a role in boxing. Especially if they're quite evenly matched. Every oh, yeah. little every, factor every will make helps. that much yeah, of a difference. Let, let me ask, let me ask, you guys were in the middle, especially you. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> right, at the first of all, was that the one? Dean the Great, Wally Chucks, was that was that the one? Even with everything that happened with with Raman, was that the one that you felt the most sort of? Oh, you could just feel, yeah, you yeah, could just feel the energy, man. Yeah. You could feel like there was just a lot of bad blood between them. And I mean, that's why, I, like, as soon as Wally, you know, tried to strike Dean, you like, were in class, yeah. In, in you were in I could class, feel like it. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> that's faster. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> master the art of the face off. I'm telling you. I'm, I'm in there. <laughs> See, but yeah, I, yeah, that's that's gonna be a phenomenal fight, and you know, even Greg Hardy versus Hasim Rahman, man, that's gonna be a crazy tension. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like, I, well, by the way, I wouldn't like to have seen us. Oh no, 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 no I think I think what's exciting is we're due an upset as well. We're due an upset. This is our third event. Yeah, we haven't had a full always upset, upset yet, have we? We haven't had like one that's been well, I say slim. That was they're quite evenly matched though. But sure, yeah, no, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, but I think everyone one. no one was expecting no uh, uh, slim to win. They no. thought but how about Temple this? would how about be the one to end Slim's run. How about this? Rahman's family name is based on one of the biggest upsets of the sport, mm. Rahman Lewis. Yeah, know, huge. Lightning huge strikes. Upset. Is he going to be victim of that on Saturday? That's the what about spin here. DK? DK money. He looks serious Kenny. up there. DK. He looks serious, and also oh, he's yeah. lost. He's shed a lot. Oh, he's weight lost a he's, lot. He's of hitting weight. much more. Yeah, crisp now, did you see? I did. I did. Um, he, he looked good on the he pads. He looks good on the pads. He looks loose. way more serious Chris, yeah. than he normally is. He's like, I think he looks ready. Yeah, man. He's. I mean, he's been in how many events now? So. He's, uh, I think for him, it's it's one, one of the it's ones where fight. I, it's one of the ones where he just wants to, sh you know, prove everyone wrong and show everyone like, yo, you know, like I've yeah. I've been here, I've done this. It's time for me yeah. to, just, you know, be one of yeah. those guys, you be up there with the Kennys, etc. Yeah. yeah, yeah but what what does it do for the, for the two heavyweight corners when you've got Hassim Rahman in one corner and Shannon the Cannon? in the other corner, sending fighters uh, out. What, what does that bring to the occasion? I mean, Shannon is just energy in it. Let's go, champ. I, I heard it all the fucking time. <laughs> Unbelievable. With, uh, when I was fighting Logan. And uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. Does it haunt you? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, course, bro. Course, yeah, yeah bro. It was a reunion today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, well, yeah. You've got the royalty of, there, there's boxing royalty, really, isn't yeah. there? Two former world champions, heavyweight champs involved in one way or another in in, in in the other in the opposing corners you know? I certainly felt when they came on the stage it felt like there was an earthquake yeah yeah, yeah big boys were any other two big boys it was good uh good yeah we had good 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 stage up there today all the way through the card all the way through there's these little storylines chase them all let me sorry let me just stop you chase them all you've been telling me about right now yeah, was good, yeah. Yeah. But there is a big size difference. Yeah? And, that is, and I'm, not, I'm not talking like, you know, size as in he's got a couple of inches. He's a lump. No, no, Chase I mean, he's a lump. Big. Yeah. He's a unit. Well, we were handing them at the yeah, he's a unit. He's a lump. Yeah, yeah. And, and he, he's, a, he's a dry lump as well. He's not yeah. fat on that, man. No, that's, no. That's a, but Josh is very good. Like, I know from what I've seen. Yeah, yeah technique wise, he's very good. Yeah. 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 It's. You still it's, go, Josh? Yeah, I probably, probably still go Josh if it's if he's, he's it's like to me, but I, 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 I'm Team Brockner, I think. But, but Chase, you know, it's not I'm really, it's I'm not really major upset. I'll be the odd one out. I'm going the more. 50 quid, yeah? <laughs> the usual, sir. If it's Chase, the yeah. No, I no, want the hat. I want the hat. Never touch another cowboy's hat. Okay, all right. <laughs> no, no, you buy me the hat. 
I'll buy you another hat. And if okay. I win, you buy and me I'll buy you hat. one of my trophy hats. Okay, deal. We'll do a hat deal. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Deal. Yeah. Better than 50 bucks. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if Chase wins, that is going to be a big upset. upset. That's, that would be yeah. an upset. I mean, geez, like, that is... <laughs> you think, is, it, is that... Yeah, no, Josh is, is good. Is I know Josh is it's good. It's very much within the realm of possibility. Oh, it's no, no, no. Of, of, of course, of course. Oh, no, great. I mean, it's all about... You know, if yeah. Josh gets but, hit the wrong way, I mean, he's I, I've seen I've seen Brockman, obviously not like you two have seen Brockman, but for me, it's it's just a serious thing he's got to overcome. To yeah, him. yeah, so of if course. If he does that, I mean, but if Chase has a good if, if Chase has a good jab, yeah, and you really Stamina's you know, yeah, 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 yeah of course. But like if, three minute if rounds. Chase knows you know does well with the jab and really gets him on the end of his jab, then you know I think it might be a bit tough a bit of a tough time for yeah. Josh. When I saw Josh, he gets that jab going. He ain't gonna get near it. Yeah. Okay. I met Josh yesterday. For, that's true. That's true. I met Josh yesterday for the first time, like in person. Mm. And I just thought, if I saw you on the street and you were trying to on or whatever, I wouldn't hesitate until. And he doesn't look tough. That's he the doesn't thing. Look that's what's so he's very, he's very calm. Also, very also calm. Yeah. 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 The he's like when he came he does have the cauliflower ear though yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah. gives it away. Yeah, yeah. 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 Until, yeah. until you spot that, you're like, this guy's the boxers not, don't really yeah. have cauliflower ears. No, but he's uh, got wrestling background as well. Yeah, yeah but that ain't gonna help him tomorrow. I'm night, talking if I, if you see a man with cauliflower ears in a street fight, you generally think twice generally, or you, you well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah, we go. We go. Yeah. You can't really choose, can you? But but no, you're but, like, where are you from anyway? <laughs> <laughs> The one fight, the one fight that doesn't have have the the beef storyline, but it's one of the most intriguing on there, is Ice Poseidon, Brandon Buckley. Yeah, this guy I, can't work. I yeah. just, he's trained, I, he's trained blind, right? He's trained, yeah, he's, he's got, got his souls eyes closed in his blue. Blue. No, soul, soul, was it? I the souls. souls. No the souls. There's like Pulp Fiction stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. 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 Suitcase, yeah. In the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The golden light. Yeah. So, yeah. How, how does he the fighter, right? So, JJ, if you're, if you're preparing for an opponent, right? <laughs> yeah. And you know, you, there's footage of them, maybe you hear things in the gym, you know, he's working on this, you, he's won his last three fights by doing that. Okay, you know where to go, you know what to base. These guys. There's nothing. There's nothing. How but do I mean, you if start? it was me, all I focus on is stamina, making sure I'm as fit as possible so that I'm ready for anything. Yeah. So, yeah. but he's vaping. Yeah. Well, yeah. So yeah, that's yeah, what I mean. Uh, so, uh, I've seen guys smoke cigars in pro boxing yeah. before. I, no, I just like it's a, it, that's a gag. Yeah, let's get that let's get that right. And I, I didn't really see the other guy. I can't work. He was yeah, asking us at the face off, and they're doing pictures now. Like, has he actually not watched a boxing match before? So I think it's one of those that they go in, and we're gonna see. The, the unknown. Wait, the the yeah, yeah, exactly. But, but look, there is, but there is an fights, area. Those are the fights that sometimes get really wild. Yeah. Right? I mean, they might, yeah. But, but it won't go long. It won't the X long. factor of not knowing of what these guys like Shirdleys. We, yeah. I was on the edge of my seat thinking like, and then at, go, at the first few seconds, 19, I was, for about 19 seconds, I was like, so yeah. did you notice he, yeah. he did the old? Yeah, did yeah, did yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, that's oh. Oh. Hey, hey. So, so And then uh, I, bang, it was, uh, yeah, it, was, uh, it, was uh, it was no more. <laughs> but, but I think there is an area for these guys who want to experiment. They've got these characters. They've, they're coming out of a comic book in terms of, you know, they, they really are, Reminds me of WWF of old before mm. WWE when when yeah. people had these characters and I yeah. think I think there's room for that and that's what Misfits is. It's got a nice mix. You've got Golden Gloves champion, you've got a uh, respectable he heavyweight contender, and then you've got a uh, guy with a black balloon and uh, Golden Gloves. We got, <laughs> with Golden, souls we got in it. Golden Gloves winners on the show. That's what I'm but, saying. But, but I think it's a that wide I, spectrum. I, I, I totally agree with you. But I will always say a man or woman is prepared to get into a boxing ring and not Mike Tyson says you've always got a plan until you, until get, you punched get punched in the, in the mouth or exactly. the nose or whatever it was but respect respect for doing that and you know let's see let's give the man a chance I mean you know couldn't really read too much uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah behind the cape and the uh, balloons <laughs> today but uh, now Minicon and Nick Joseph they yeah. have they have what started as a friendship that 
morphed into a rivalry. They really don't like each other. I felt that. Yeah. There's some money involved, involved, some business that went bad, maybe some women in the middle. Yeah, it was definitely, yeah. it was definitely yeah. talk, the face up, they were definitely referring to certain ladies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they asked it. me when Minicon said, I want to fight this guy, man. I want to end this rivalry. And I asked Nick Joseph, and he didn't, he didn't hesitate that um, Minicon had had two or three fights, whatever he's done. He didn't hesitate. He just said, I want his yeah. ass. That was the DM but, I got back right away. No hesitation. And, and viewers at home, by the way, I mean, yesterday at the fight of checking, what, what two gen when they were alone in the room, what two gentlemen, but they weren't together in the room. Yeah. Uh, but when they were checking in, like they were checking with the medicals yesterday, yeah, yeah. wow, that, lovely guys. But the, where there was real beef up there, and you could feel there was there's something that we don't know, I think, mm. uh, that's happened that between them. Does that make it relatable? If you're a boxing fan watching at home, everyone's got a boy they were close with, and now you know it's it's not there anymore. You want to see how that plays out. You want to get in the ring and settle your differences. It's sort of setting an example, but it's relatable. You understand it when you've fallen out with someone, and you just want to. Well, this whole glove thing's up. making everything relatable because he's always talking. JJ's always talking about anyone can do what I do. You yeah. always say that. So, of course, people have real life situations that are relatable. They can have their channels, their YouTube, their Twitch, whatever it is, get into a little bit of, um, get some notoriety for it, and then and then put a pair of gloves on and settle their differences, you know? Yeah, so I and, think and, 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 you know, I mean, we, we talk about the beef, but there's also some very good sportsmen up there, you know, um, face temper is a, a pleasure always, to see always you always back. Such a yeah. so nice guy. Good to see you. Over, oh, overflow, oh, oh, really, really. Right, yeah. So it's, I think it, it, we mustn't give the, the, the crossover boxing sector a tag that every fight's built for some hype. Mm. What I would say, which is very different to normal boxing, is a lot of them are coming out of the same business sector. If they're a YouTuber or if they, and they've had, they've had, they've had run-ins or their friends around stuff before you wouldn't really have that in boxing so you have those storylines naturally there so for people saying oh well there's always this beef it's made it's wwe and all that it's not really because they've they've had dealings before whether yeah. they're business dealings whether they're, whether they're girlfriend yeah, dealings yeah, i don't yeah, want to know yeah, about yeah, their yeah, dealings yeah, yeah. but there is dealings out there in the in the in the real world and they and they come in and they, you know they make it very clear to mams who they want to fight as well which is very interesting so saturday night We've seen what's going on in the ring. Yeah. There's news coming as well about an opponent reveal. Mm -hmm. How excited are you for this? Extremely excited. Uh, I think it's awesome to get back into the ring in January and you know showcase more of my skills, showcase more of my training, showcase why I'm the greatest when it comes to this YouTube boxing scene. Um, yeah. Um, I think for me, it's just. Yeah, just constantly showing everyone like why I'm. I feel like I'm better than Jake, and I'm gonna constantly show that with you know, each person that I fight. And uh, it, yeah, no matter who it is in front of me, I'm just gonna take it out, bro. I'm gonna destroy. We're not but, gonna say we're not gonna say any names, but let me ask you: Is it a dangerous opponent, a live opponent, someone I mean, who's really gonna test you? I mean, every opponent that I face is dangerous. Like, has an ability to be dangerous. But yeah, no, I, it. The person I'm fighting is very dangerous. The person that, you know, has beaten a lot of people. And for me, it's exciting because, you know, I've I've wanted to get my hands on him for time. So, yeah, it's uh, it's, it's uh, nice. raising the bar, isn't well, it? Well, yeah, raising the bar. And it's also just nice nice for me to, you know, finally get my hands on him and knock him out and Mom. show him off for good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mum, just talk to me a little bit about the fight that's coming up. Well, it's going to be announced. On Saturday night, how excited are you to be a part of this? I'm excited. I think the build-up's going to be amazing. I think it's uh, it's the natural progression of, you know, JJ should be fighting next um, as an opponent, and um, I think it's a tough, tough guy. It's a test, and it's you know elevating the standard of opponent um, naturally, and then uh, not looking past this opponent at all, obviously focus is going to be on him but we all know what's uh, what's imminent very soon after mm -hmm. I, I would just I would, I would just add a, a, a sign from the outside here watching uh, watching JJ and the way he approaches the sport and, and I looked at the rooming list and I'm like the man says, oh, this one here, that one there. He's travelled here to promote the show, yeah. but he's in. Tra he's brought. He's flown his trainers. Uh, yeah. He's flown his chefing. He's got his. He's cooking <laughs> to make sure he's living well. 
And I just look at, I'm not going to say the names, but some of the other people who were at, let's say, the, the, and there's only two or three who are at that level in, in crossover boxing. And that's the difference at the top of the game, whether it's the crossover game or the, or the, or the, or the, or the, the pro game. It, it, it's, a t- it's, a, it's that well, it's You, that you have to be dedicated. It's dedicated and disciplined as well. It's the attention to detail. The camps I've seen with, with, with Klitschko, with Kessler, um, they were, you know, over the years, the top pros, David Hay, mm-hmm. um, all the guys I worked with over the years, that's the difference when you get to that level. Yeah. Tyson Fury, he might, you know, dick around and show these clips and these clips. Listen, Tyson takes it. He has a team of, 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 of professionals in every area. Yeah. And that's the level he takes it to. So when we talk about, you know, opponents and, and whatever, and, and, you know, who's, this is the this is the number one, and, and, and that's that dedication to the sport is for me. Given everything else that he's going on, going on in his life is for me phenomenal. I've never seen anything like it. So you know, I, I, there's there's not a single crossover boxer that they, this man is not going to be. It's just the question of getting those contracts signed, getting those fights made. But there's no one who's going to stop him. Not a chance. Not to look at what they go and do outside of their fights. You can't do that at the top of any game. You can't fight, blow up, go off, and you know. And, and you've seen the videos, you know. Yeah, and I'm sure some of it might be fake, some of it might be real. But the lifestyles outside of the ring, outside of your fight, outside of your camps, close the differences. You know, look at Ricky Hatton. Sorry to continue so long here, but it's an important point. Ricky Hatton blew up between fights. He said himself, he would have had five years longer as a pro. Yeah. You know, and, and that's, it's about dedication and it's about doing it. And, and uh, this is a man who's doing that. Dedication, commitment, trainer, and the chef with you. Come to your room for dinner later. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it goes down Saturday night on the zone. You know where to watch. We're in Texas.